Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm headed back to the dairy farm and we're picking up our second truck. Our second truck uh, we talked about is another five ton military truck with a manure bed on it. So the dairy farm used it as a manure spreader on the field. Uh, this one I talked to the boss man and he said this truck's been sitting for 20 years. So, Luke and I are going to tackle this one today and see if we can get it running. He said it ran when it drove, but it had very light power, didn't want to run, and it ran when parked. So, we're going to see if we can get it running. Stay tuned. Well, if you've seen a couple of our previous videos, we picked up a 6x6, 5-ton military truck uh, from this same farm. and It had been sitting for about 10 years. We got it running. We got it driving. We've been playing with it at home. This is a much, much rougher one, which we plan to use for parts, and uh, maybe we'll play with the chassis in the long run. I've got a couple different old Dodge truck cabs. would be real cool on one of these. But So we're going to kind of give you an idea of what we got here, and then we're going to start hooking up batteries and seeing if we can't get it to fire up and go from there. So the boss man said this has been sitting for 20 years. And it's rough. It's, uh, yeah. Almost Flintstone powered. There I do a walk around. I've never seen a manure bed on a five ton chassis. They took the wheels off or one of their other semis. <laughs> Apologize with the sun here, it's a uh, wrong angle. Looks like the battery box is about ready to fall off. So, I guess we'll uh, get to work, what do you think? Uh, start taking the stuff off it, get her, get batteries in it, and here, we'll pop the hood and you can see the gas engine. <clears throat> Tender's a little rough. Ugh. Ooh, standing on that fender might not have been the best of ideas. <laughs> <laughs> well, we got good airlines on this one. Yeah. <laughs> that tire's holding air. This tire over here is dead flat, but I brought the air tank. Yeah, this fender's in rough condition. Yeah, the sun is at the wrong angle. Yep, that's all right. But all right, we're going to roll with it. So we pulled the battery box out. Had a little rot to it. Nope. Battery hold down's in good shape. Then we notice these are the military batteries that are still in it. Yeah, look at the nice olive drab. It's hard to tell. I wonder if you fell in love with that way, though. Those old batteries are something else sometimes. Clean it up and be a shelf piece. And obviously, these are not the right batteries, but it'll work. Wouldn't this be awesome? You just shoot it with some gas and it fires up. I don't want to get my hopes up. But it would be awesome. Cables look like they're in good shape. Yeah. All came loose perfectly fine, amazingly. So you said you think they put diesel fuel in this? I thought they did, but I was checking the 
tank this morning and it does smell like old gas. I just, I saw red when I looked in it when we were grabbing the other 6x6. Six six. But that might just be, it's so varnished, it got a red tint to it. It might be more brown than red. Well, and I was years. just hopeful. They said it was, they said it ran to the spot, but it was barely running. So I was hopeful somebody had just messed up and put diesel in it. And it wasn't burning right. I'm assuming one of these old motors would be tough enough to run a little diesel and not, uh, not destroy it. Oh, we got batteries hooked up. Well, we paid the consumer's bill here, so we got power. Walk over, flip the switch, and see if we get anything. At least now I know how to unhook well, the buzzer. Scale one to ten. Is that, you think it's going to work? You know, I'm giving it an eight out of ten on whether we get power. <laughs> we got power. No buzzer, though. No buzzer, but they might have got tired of it and un unhooked it. We got fuel level, and it's accurate. That's amazing. That's great because this gas tank's going on the other truck. The generator. Yeah, the air pressure is turning on. And it comes with an oh, old no. antique scraper next no. to your foot. Oil pressure is turning on. So the air pressure will make sense to be mechanical. These are reverse of what they are in the other one. Oh, that this amazes me because there's a hole in the roof here and it's been seeing weather for 20 years. Oh, well, we're going to make sure it's a neutral. Yep. Yeah, don't run my truck over. I can't believe I'm sitting on this. The seat's in better condition than the other one. Just covered in filth. Ooh. Oh, the throttle pedal doesn't work. Which. There we go. It's easier to press the brake pedal to get to the starter. Just in case. I didn't know. Nothing? Nothing. I have to try screwdriver. Yep. Oh wow! You see that column? Can you do that? <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Okay, so that's not working. Man, this is a big exhaust. Yes, it is. Now, where is the starter? <laughs> On this side. Because that button directly pushes on the starter. Ah, sun's in my way. I'm talking about using tools that aren't <laughs> knife. Weatherman? Kershaw. Been carrying this knife for quite a long time. Oh. I started. Say, is it going to be easier to go underneath or? Uh, good question. Might be easier to take the floor out inside. Oh, that's handy. Here, show them this. So I just discovered this not only flips down, but you can uh, pull it forward. Question is, are they all like that? Be nice. That uh, That's in better shape than on the other 6x6, six six, so that's where that'll go. I checked that. That was dry. I did, I did grab the fan the other day and well, engine still turns. We just need to get that starter to go. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this. Oh no, I see the starter. There it is. You know, it could have a back cable going to it too. Yeah. Paddle might also not be precedent far enough. It's 
you want to... I was going to ask if you wanted to hit that pedal and I'd watch the linkage work. Or button, not pedal, sorry. I don't want to. <laughs> but just for you, Luke. Just for you. That's as far as it goes? That's all as far as I can get it. Okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's going all the way or not. Let me uh, I'll grab some juice and just start soaking stuff down to loosen things up. Because everything's so stiff. That's all the way. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm back here now. We've got power through the truck. That makes me pretty happy. Look at that. What's that? Throttle. Oh, I'm just spraying it all down. It must have worked. Couldn't move it before. Nope. Whoa. Almost went through the top of this fender. So the lights are working. Oh, we, got, oh, we had both. Both lights. Huh, no shit. Yep. All right. Does, it doesn't even have a thick arm for blinkers, does it? You gotta turn the lights and shit on to have it. No, nothing. Well, we got headlights. That's surprising enough. I just noticed something here. Hold on a second. Fingers out of the way? Yep. Oh, there was a push button here. It ain't doing nothing. See if I can find anywhere good to. All right, so we found out that we have zero power going to the starter, and Luke just stuck a set of jumper cables, and we ran over to the lug on the starter, and it rolled it over, and you have to push this down, and that's how it helps engage it onto the ring gear. And I had Luke bump it, and it rolled the motor over. So what we're going to do now, Luke is working on pulling the air cleaner out. We're going to shoot it with some starting fluid, and he's going to get underneath, and we're going to eliminate everything right away and make sure, see if we're getting spark and what else we need to do to tackle this. So stay tuned. If it does go that way, maybe we get a few moments of it going. Well, that'll let us know we have spark and we don't have yep. to dig into the points and all that fun stuff. Yeah, I forgot to bring any ignition type tools and parts. Did you turn the ignition on? Well, yeah. Well, I don't know. And are you holding the throttle wide open? Or? Yeah. Okay. Well, that's a choke of belt. No, oh, I don't know. Okay. I don't think we're getting spark. Nope. All right. Let's put some air in this tire. If it'll take air. Holy shit. Pushing the earth out of its way. Look at that. We're getting a lift kit. No more low rider. Now well, that should give you a little more room to get off the, get underneath of it. Yeah. Hey, two inches is two inches. <laughs> Look at that. Except for in the case of this tire, it's like six Split inches. Split rim and all. Still holding B. That's amazing. Look at that. Well, I mean, we, have, we have a fighting chance now with instead of one wheel drive, now it's two wheel drive. <laughs> Look at that chop on this thing. Yeah. That's got to ride awesome down the road. Still make a spare for the other truck. 
1993, right on the side of the tire. How much air you got on that? I don't know. Are they going to blow up? Hopefully not. It'd be pretty horrendous. I figured when it stops lifting, it's probably full. Or it could go kaboom. Well, tire takes air, so we got to get some tools and we got to work on the spark issues here. We're not getting sparks, so stay tuned. Dude, it might. Well, that's that. Uh, all right, so what's the verdict now? All the the cap, all the rotor yeah, tips are sun and absolutely fried. The rotor's fried. The points are just about burned completely gone. Yeah. Yeah, if you're looking at the points, this this side of the contact is just about completely gone. And the little arm that rides on the shaft to lift and lower it is also worn just about completely gone. So... So what do you think? Uh, you didn't use the... Uh, you think we take the other set of points out of... Uh, that's what I'm thinking. The use that we got out of the other truck and stuff and throw it in here? That's what I'm thinking. All right, let's try that. These look pretty horrible. So All right, switches on. Yep, we've got power coming into the coil. So try... Oh. You said we got a little bit of a gap. We got just a little gap on the... We got... Okay. Put the ignition off. Put her back together and we'll see if we got anything now. There. I think that was... Well, uh, maybe I can get a better shot of that cap. Oh. We, uh, uh... Go to the left. There you go. So we had to scratch it. I don't know how good a quality it is, but... Yeah, it's... We had to clean it up, and so we just checked it. Then we got power here. Next question is, how good are the plugs? Tell me when. Fire and all. Oh, ready again? Go ahead.
Try it again. So what are your thoughts? These yep. things love us, you know? It's like, <laughs> it's like this thing, I don't know, maybe the other one is whispering, the other truck is whispering to the other, this truck, you know? It's like, I mean, the, the farmers are gonna shit when they see, see the video. It's running nice. The front end's trying. It was wiggling the whole truck back and forth. How far? Just a couple inches, but still. If this had rear wheels, it would have come right out. Absolutely no doubt in my mind. For 20 years, for 20 years, it's been sitting here. They said it ran when they parked it, but it was on lack of power. So we came up with what the points and the cap was all nasty. So we yep. literally changed the points and condenser. Hooked up a boat gas tank. Boat gas tank. Um, we had a what, Mickey Mouse, the power, because the power cable to the starter wasn't working. Yep. So we ran a dumper cable to the positive battery. But you can see run jumper cable right up to the battery, or I mean right up to the starter from the battery on the other side. Um, come over here to the door and open the door up. That's a, yeah. See, we got the cable running across, and we're just touching it right there. So we got a front lockout, so maybe on your other one we can do a front diff lockout. All right, so. If the video is a little different in the beginning, we tried microphones and it had a little buzz, so we apologize. But uh, we're going to try it today without it. And the wind's a little picking up, too. Exactly a week later. Yeah. So we decided, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to try to block it up, lift with the loader as much as possible, block it up so we can get some wheels on. We're just doing single wheels on the rear. And then we're going to get it out of its holes, and depending on how it looks, Hopefully, try and drive it home today. It's kind of creeping. This thing is heavy. This thing uh, struggles here. This is a good size loader. It struggles, but we're going to make it work. So, we need to lift this up, put it on blocks, and see if we can sneak some wheels in here, put some singles on, not duals. But, plan is to drive this back. And Alrighty, let's see if uh, we can do this without getting hurt. I 
So what I'll do is I'll probably grab those two center beams there. See if it'll lift it. Yeah. That's why I'm taking the wheels over there.
You're just going on the frame. Yeah, the head. Turn to me a little. More. Hope oh, up. Keep going. I might get on the other side. What do you give it, Luke? One out of ten. Oh, ten out of ten. I think it's coming out once the front end works. Should I doubt you? Probably. <laughs> oh, look at that. Hey, you got a lift kit. <laughs> It's like it don't miss a beat, does it? Oh, it's missing a beat, but it don't run bad. Look at that. 20 years.
Now don't hit that tractor. Brake work? Yep. You feel comfortable driving? I didn't come for it. That shit falling all over me. Right back over the truck. Blowing airline? I wonder if it's blowing at the bottom of the tank. Yeah, it's gotta be, you not wanna be here in your tank. Cause that's if it's possible that on it. That roof, you got a picture of that roof? It's funneling crap right down onto me. You're not complaining, are you? I'm just saying what it's doing, I'm being factual. <laughs> uh, Well, what do you want to do? You want to oh, I'll drive it cut, a, cut a hole in that and then we'll drive it? I'm just going to make that stuff finish falling. That is surprisingly tough. And we'll top it off with fuel and the temp case is working, so I figure we'll let it run, make sure it doesn't overheat. You want to cut that out of there? No. I thought about it. All right, we're just leaving the farm now, and we're about to make our maiden voyage back to the shop. So we got the truck running, as you can see. Um, I apologize about the video if uh, there's wind chatter. We got some microphones we were testing out uh, last week, and. Uh, kind of have a little buzz so I really do apologize if uh, if I can't try to edit that out or try to make the video better we were uh, we noticed when we were making our videos that uh, um, you couldn't really hear like distance the farther the we were from the camera you know it was like muffling and then closer it's like kind of loud so I, I really do apologize if uh, if it's like that well, we made the first stop sign here. He's using the parking brake. 20 years. Uh, boss says that truck was sitting there 20 years in that hole. Now we're coming up to the second stop sign here. You can hear the air leak on it. We don't know if it's a line or a fitting at the tank. I didn't think this truck would drive home. I thought we were gonna have to, uh, I thought for sure we were gonna have to tow this thing. So for sitting 20 years, old manure falling off of the truck. For 20 years sitting, like I said, we didn't do much to this thing. And we're going almost 40 miles an hour with this thing. This is incredible.
looks like we're breaking down. Well, we made it halfway. So what, what do you think happened? Uh, we were running out of fuel. I had to hold the choke all the way out to make it this far. The tank empty? Nope. Really? We got plenty of fuel, but it's not either the carburetor clogged or the pump's not pumping. Okay. But you know what? This is a plus no matter what. I mean, this thing drove out of its grave. Made it this far. Made it this far. We're halfway home. Well, we made it halfway home. So is that the best and worst thing you ever driven? It rides better than the first one because these rear tires are round. Yeah. That other one, it's, it, I, I, it's like running down the rungs of a railroad track hitting every tie in the other one. This one, at least you're just hitting bumps and they're rough. Yeah, the one oh, road there <laughs> looked like he just got off the toilet for about two hours. Uh, I think every muscle was tensed while I was doing that. <laughs> and that, without the power steering, when that engine's not running, I, yeah. I'd rather push an entire car around than try and turn that steering wheel. That bad, huh? That is the worst, worst steering without the engine running that I've ever experienced. This thing is like a thing. lot bigger when it's out of the ground. It feels bigger than the, well, I guess it's longer than the other one. But yeah, we lost fuel for some reason. Yeah, your uh, Dodge pickup does not care. No, I love I, that. The, the Cummins and the six-speed in that thing just... I was literally worried about, like, when we were going down the that dirt road with the potholes, I was worried about the batteries falling out. They're like strapped in good. I know, but it's like you look at these frames here, uh, the mounts that just look horrible it looks horrible but it's not but i'd say that's a win i mean we literally that went just as smooth as it possibly could have i um the only thing that could have been smoother is if it actually drove itself all the way home like i i don't care if it broke down halfway home or not at the, the fact that it fired up for sitting 20 years, no problem. It drove out of its hole. I mean, it made it a good five, six miles on its own before. Halfway. Uh, either, I, I'm thinking. You think the ethanol maybe went through the. Other, I've been running only rec fuel in it. Oh, rec fuel? Okay, I didn't know so, if you got pumped gas. No, I'm thinking the uh, needle is either stuck or something got clogged in it. Because at first I had to have half. First we were running fine. Then I had to have half choke, then it was full choke, and then it just said enough. Yep. And I was watching the fuel, I've got a clear fuel filter on the boat tank, and I'm watching it. Originally it was half full, flowing good, and when it started dying, it was barely pulling any fuel through it and it was dry. So either that means it wasn't pulling, or maybe the uh, pickup in the boat tank is leaking. And so it was sucking a bunch of air. That's another thing to check out, too. Maybe you got a crack at a certain plane or yeah, something. That's possible. I mean, it was just a boat tank to get it get it out of its hole and get it home. It runs. It, it, it runs. It was running. We didn't blow it up, so right it, up it until runs. Right it ran out of fuel, it was running better and better and better. That's so, something. And it really didn't. Everybody seemed to like it when you were going down the road. There was quite a few thumbs There's up people. we were getting. <laughs> but. I'll tell you what. This thing is an absolute... Even when the power steering is working, and the power steering works great when it's running, but the longer wheelbase on this thing, making a corner with this, and a, pro, and a four-wheel <laughs> drive front axle, yeah, it, it is some wide turns. The other limo. one turns like a sports car compared to this. <laughs> the other one I can turn like a normal truck. I don't have to think about it oh, too much. Oh, yeah. This one you really got to plan. Yeah, I, 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 uh, I, I really like this video more. Like I said, I apologize, you know, in the previous video, if there's a buzzing or wind chatter, you know, we're trying our best to do what we can. We're but experimenting until we find what we're yeah. making these videos. Um, yeah, I I, uh, <laughs> I just, I, I never thought, I thought we were going to have to tow this home on a semi. It's just a tad bit long for Luke's trailer, but uh, 
About five, uh, and heavier too. I'd say four or five foot long for my trailer. Boy, it feels bigger than the other one. It it, it does. It just I don't know what it is. I just it's got to be the box, but I don't know. We'll get them side by side. I'd say it's the same height and everything, but it just this be, one just feels it like has to be the same height. maybe it's the extra bigger. five feet on it or something. I don't and, know. And maybe just having that box, it does sit. The box sits way higher. Or maybe it's because we've been working next to it for two weeks with it sunk to the axle on the ground. And now it's up. Look, I figure we'll get a picture here and then yep. thumbs up and end it. And You know, the tack, the speedometer, the temperature gauge, they all work. And they work well. The oil pressure, everything, everything but the air pressure gauge works. And they added an air pressure gauge under the hood, I found. Okay. Just so that they could probably see. Well, it, it could be simple, a simple fix, you know, to, for the air leak under there. You'd have to have something another day to look at. Yeah. I, there's so much going on there. you got a brake line to fix, an air leak to fix. Figure out the fuel, whether it's the tank or the carburetor or the lift fuel pump. So what's your plans with this? Uh, we can grab the good parts off this, make the other one a nice beauty yeah, queen. This, this nice bumper, the nice fuel tank, um, the gauges or the drives, whatever is wrong with them on the other one, all that's coming off this going to the other one. All the nicest pieces are going on the other one since it's the nicer, the more original. And this, I don't know if we're going to put another truck cab on it. And build something with it or if it's just going to be parts or what for sure i want to put something else on i want to do something with it if nothing, fair enough I, i'm even considering bobbing it as short as it can get and this be a little yard mule well a big yard mule <laughs> but it would turn sharper with the rear end bobbed up fair enough and i could put a boom or anything off the back for lifting stuff and dragging stuff and oh that made my dad jealous he's been obsessed with having a boom truck in the yard forever Yep. Well, I uh, I think this is uh, I think this is a successful video. I mean, like I said, this thing was sitting on its belly, you know, twenty years, and Literally you know, like the, the like the whole farm, the family farm said, you know, they did they they wouldn't when we said we were coming over to get it running, they said impossible. This thing never ran right. It was lack of power. And I think he said today, he said it didn't even run when they parked it there. They dragged it. He died. said the last time it ran, they all said the last time it ran, it was very light power. Like it, was, it sounded like it was around half, half, yeah, half and it, half. He thought they'd blown a couple. And Luke thought at one point when we were going to make the deal, you know, we were looking at it, he thought they may have put off-road diesel on it, which, you know, being a big farm and a lot of equipment around it take diesel, you know, accidents happen, but we found them and we smelt it. You know, it's old gas. But... um. What did we do? We just did the points? The ignition system was completely fried. Everything we did what? Just points or flat. points and condenser? I had points, condenser, cleaned up all the, the burnt cap, replaced the rotor. The, the rotor, that's right. The rotor was... On it. it was burnt right back into That's the right. The rotor was uh, really uh, messed up and everything. And then they, I think the points that were in there, there they were really cheap. No contact on one side of the points. It yeah, it was kind of like a cheap set of points, wasn't it? No, we put the cheap set in it. The set that was in it. I was thought nice, the ones that they put in it was uh, kind of cheaper and half worn. It was kind of. It wasn't it was like very worn. Yes. It wasn't like wearing square, was it? It was like kind of off a little bit. I mean, it melted. It's well, yeah. Burnt and melted, so there's no so no telling what the burn pattern was because it was melt. It was like taking a torch to the points. So for just running a set of jumper cables from the battery to the starter, and then take two people to start it. I mean, this is wonderful. I mean, it drove out of its hole. That's the first thing I want to fix is the starter. Um. Maybe in another video, I would like to do it. I don't know if Luke would like to do it, but I would like to get that PTO running, and maybe we can actually engage this manure bed. I want to try to get it going. The lever on the PTO for the transmission stuck in there, and maybe we can loosen it up. But yeah, I think up, it'd be pretty cool to actually it. engage everything. And, yeah. and now that it's up, I can crawl under it and get all that stuff loose. Yeah, so this thing's got like a lift kit on it that, now that compared to... Was on, almost on the I mean... Before. I mean, that's just... My jumper cable survived the trip. I was a little concerned about that. Yeah, I was watching the drive shaft on this side here when you were driving around the farm. It was close, but it wasn't touching. It was close. Yep. I, I dragged them just low enough that they wouldn't. But, yeah, I think it'd be cool if we were to uh, engage this thing. You should have seen the manure falling off the back of the truck when you're hitting the bumps. You should have seen the manure falling through the hole in the roof on me. <laughs> I need a shower. <laughs> Bad. You probably feel wonderful, don't you? Oh, 
yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, I knocked most of it loose, so it wasn't as bad as it could have been. Yeah, I think it'd be cool to engage this one last time. I honestly don't think this bed is in all that bad a shape. I was thinking about that while we were, once we got it up out of the hole. So... I, I think there's some small farmers around here might want this bed. I don't know. I, it, it's only rusted on the fenders. Yeah, but there's nobody around here that drives trucks like this for manure. It's all pulled behind for tractors. Oh, good point. I mean, you got to think, how heavy is that bed, you know? 6,000 pounds, maybe more? I don't know. I don't think... But I don't know. I've never dealt with one. I'm just looking at how it's constructed. I was thinking it might be might be 4,000 pounds. I don't know. I've never most, dealt with one. Most yeah. of the farmers around here, they have pole types behind their uh, tractors. It's, that makes sense. You know, this here, it'd take a special unit, you know, and then it's... I picture somebody putting... A this, tractor will go through more than a truck will. I picture somebody throwing that on a wagon chassis and running the PTO off their tractor to power it. I mean, you could advertise it, but who knows? I just hate to cut it up without finding out. I don't like scrapping things that somebody could use. <laughs> True. So, all right, well, we're going to end this here. Uh, we got to get this in place here. We got to park it somewhere because uh, that or figure out what's wrong with it. But there will be food, food, uh, videos in the future um, while there were robbing parts off this to make the other one nice again or whatever. But uh, anything you want to add, Luke, or we got pretty much cover the basis. So... This was a fun one here. Uh, you know, it's sitting in the ground. I had my doubts for a minute, you know, but I try to keep a positive vibe. Seems like when I have a positive vibe, they run and they crawl the hole. But, no, this one was actually amazing because this one was sitting for 20 years for sure. And the family farm was happy to see it go because it was a lawn ornament. And we're happy to get it to do play. something cool to with it to play, you know. Uh, so what the future holds for this thing we'll see but we will make some uh, videos with this in the future and uh thanks for uh following along